Well, this is Sector 16. Taking a little walk. I want to talk to you about two words that are in the Bible. And those two words are convergent and emergent. The reason why that is important to understand what we're seeing today biblically is that we're seeing the rise of the Antichrist system. The B system, this is called. Emergence of it. We're also seeing the convergence of our Heavenly Father returning to the earth. Why are these two words so important to understand? Because you are physically seeing it play out before you right now. Those two words are linked together. The emergence of humanity in the book of Genesis and the convergence the end in the book of Revelation. Now, many people wonder and see these things. Yes, it's real. It's happening before our very eyes. There's no doubt in that. I want you all to know that the Father has ordained these things to happen. In fact, in 2 Thessalonians 2, chapter 2, describes the emergence of the beast himself and the conversion of our Lord Jesus Christ's return. That is the one thing that we have to understand. You see, the Father's plan this for thousands of years to begin in the garden. The emergence of the beast system has a lot of things attached to it, okay? Asymmetrical warfare is one of them. They can only operate through fear because that's all they have. And of course, we know according to the word that love trumps or otherwise love conquers fear. And that's a given. But understanding the difference between emergence and conversion when they're both happening at the same time is something that we Christians need to know. And believers need to know. It's not a secret anymore what their plan is. Global dominance is their plan. Using the coronavirus is one means. But there are several things that are involved in it as well. Everything that you're seeing whether it's print media, internet, television, it's designed to keep you entrapped from knowing the truth. See, emergence and convergence, they lead the way to understanding the knowledge of the truth, which is Jesus Christ himself. That is the knowledge of the truth. But these people do not have love in their hearts. Like I said, they only have one avenue to attack you with, and that's fear. Confusion. If misinformation, disinformation, information overload, I mean... They're so predictable now. They're so in the open now. They want you to know. 
that they're changing the world in front of your very eyes. It's how you handle it that's going to be critical. I know many of you are going through storms of various different kinds. And my prayers are with you. But you must understand one thing. The Father is with you always, even in the midst of any storm that comes your way. There is going to be a time that's going to come real shortly and it's fixing to play out and that is Luke 21 verse 16. Everything that I'm mentioning to you biblically is playing out. With the merging of the beast system they are attacking you through your five senses to gain and try to control you. See, you are the Holy Grail and they know that. Why? Because you have the DNA structure that the Father has put in you. That's a very unique DNA structure that they would need for some reason. Or is it that they want to destroy it because they know he's returning? Who knows? But I want you all to realize one thing. Father's love for you is so great that it's bigger than the universe itself. But under, come with understanding to the Holy Spirit and the reading of the scripture, that's what it you will save you through this entire process. Many people continue life and they're trying to make it through this. At the same time, they're wondering why. Why are we going through this? Why do we have to go through this? Well, the Father already answered that. Because it's time for the conversion. Now, let me explain to you what emergent and convergent is. Emergent means to rise. Convergent means to bring two points together in the center. You're seeing that on a physical level and a spiritual level. Both of them will become reality. And they already are. But this is the difference that you will see. The things that were taught and told about in the Bible will become so real that you will blink your eyes. Some will be so real that it will even cause people to have heart attacks because they cannot believe what they're seeing and the fright of it will have them heart bleeding. <coughs> but take heed, the Father's plan is perfect. His timing is on time always, regardless. He's not mocked, and neither are you. You're not crazy for what you're seeing. You're not crazy for what you put out. If you speak the truth, the truth of the Father, you have nothing to worry about. Now, the other thing is, the enemy will attack because they do not like the light of the truth, which emanates from you, whether it's through physical means of just being seen or by your words, or even by your videos. The truth of the matter is, there is a time when you're going to have to choose where you want to spend your eternal destination. There's only two places. There's heaven and there's hell. But understand this, heaven was created for us. 
to spend with God for eternity. Hell was created for those angels who rebelled and was not meant for humanity to be there. You know, it's strange to me to see this and to report on it. We could show you, I could show you and tell you about the Illuminati's and all of that, but the point is it comes down to really two things. It goes back to Genesis, Genesis 3.15. The serpent's seed and the woman's seed. And the battle that has ensued ever since. Life right now has changed again. Just like 9-11. But we have an advantage here. We have the word of the Father. That's our survival guide. Our Father has already made the way for us. And that's through His Son. The choice is yours. You can choose to be with the Father. Or you can choose to be separated from him. See, the world does not want you to know the truth because they know the convergence is happening. They know that the emergence of Christ's kingdom, his reign, is imminent. Yes, there are events in the Bible and revelations of cosmic things, yes. There are also things about the plague, yes. The condition of humanity, yes. Where you want to accept this is not, or if you want to remain in denial that the Father's word is true and that it's playing out right before your eyes, that is your choice. See, the Father's made that very clear. You have a choice. That's why he has John 3.16 in there for you. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever so believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. That's the free gift that cannot be bought, cannot be worked for. It is free for everyone around the world. They know this. That is the one verse they hate the most. Because through salvation, we are set free from this sinful world that they want to keep us trapped in. You're being programmed 24-7 if you watch the news on television. It's been five years since I've watched TV. Sure, I watch YouTube, but it also because I know that I have to watch what other people and other creators put out. Because we're all seeing the same thing. We're seeing the emergence and the conversion, convergent, <laughs> sorry, of the world. The final scenario. It's about to be played out. The final battle between those of Satan and those of God will play out. The choice has always been yours, just like I said. You can choose to accept God as your Savior and have eternal life in heaven. Or you can choose to go to hell which is total separation from God. Now, I won't get into what heaven or hell is right now because I want you to understand the difference between emergence and convergence. Those are the things that you're seeing right now and that's the important thing that the Father wants to get out. You have the choice. It's your will. But choose wisely.
This is Sector 16. I'm signing off. Please share, subscribe, give a thumbs up, click the bell. And until next time, everyone, have a blessed day.